Testing, testing. One, two, three. Is this thing on? Hello? Okay, good. Hello to everybody. My name is Afrobe. And today, well, this is not a reaction video. This is episode 8 of the Pokemon Sun and Moon Pokemon Refresh. And today, what I'm, I'm going to be playing around with... Chandelure. The shiny Chandelure. Oh yeah, just to let you know. This is not the same... This is not the Chandelure that I encounter. I mean... Not the Litwick or Chandelure that I encountered from Pokemon Sun and Moon. This Chandelure, the shiny one, was the one that I hatched last Halloween. And it's all, it was all recorded in my video. I can show it to you. Hang on, Chandelure. I need you to stay here for a little bit, okay? Thank you. This won't take long, alright? This is the video right here. It was called Happy Halloween Shiny Liquid Hatched. Although it did not hatch because I didn't expect it. But it was a shiny shield of war. It was hatched on Halloween. Yeah, I'm still petting up Shandalore. Okay. I want you guys to watch this video for a second. Here are some things that I said. It, I mean, it does bring back memories. I mean, where I was, I was playing my 3DS and I was outside in the truck. Um, and I was recording on my, I was recording my, I was recording it on my tablet. I did not expect, I mean, it was all just a big coincidence, though. Like, why, do I, why would I need a camera if I was at work? I mean, it was after work. I tried hatching a Litwick for Halloween and, um, setting up a full ghost, a full ghost team for Halloween. But, unfortunately, that didn't plan out. Hello, oh, wait, here you go. My name is Aquaman, and today I want to say Happy Halloween. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Oh. Is, um, setting up the I forgot to put sleep. That would have been more, that would have made more sense. Sorry. Here. I want to say Happy Halloween. What I'm planning on doing is I'm um, setting up the Halloween team and battle the trainers using those Pokemon. I didn't do that. Right now, I was breeding the um, Chandelure to get a perfect IV Litwick. Right now, I just yeah. Uh, now, I'm, right now, I'm breeding. That took a long time because I was breeding. I was breeding a chandelure, a female chandelure with a male Gallade. It has it has five hit points. The only thing, the only thing that did not have a perfect IV for Gallade was a special attack. Well, wait, wait, hold on. Oh wait, I have all six. Wait, wait, no, no, no. I had all. I have all five um IV rolls, and it. And it's a tax stat was the one that did not get maximized IV. That was it. It with your mask that's holding the destiny knot. Okay, I might have forgot. It was your mask that had um all all four IVs and it had a calm nature. And Litwick that's holding the Everstone that has a modest nature. Yes, but see. The, but here comes the surprise. After 17 eggs? 17 eggs. I just, I just got a shiny Litwick on Halloween. I tried holding in my excitement because I don't want to spread it out because I'm inside a truck and it might, and it See? might catch everybody's attention. I, don't, I really don't want to catch everybody's attention because we were in front of a store. We were, front, we were in front of a hardware store. I mean, I was outside in the parking lot. Alright, um, and let's see. And how I reacted when I when I first saw Shiny Litwick, my reaction was this. Oh. Hang on. <clears throat> that was my reaction for everything. Except for when I hatched a Shiny Grimer, I was squealing. <laughs> Alright, let's see. It's a little bit dimmer because um, I'm really outside. I'm on my way back home. I got back from work. That's what I said too. Check it out right there. Modest Nature, October 31st, 2016. And guess what today is? 2017, October 31st. And I am uh, playing around with Chandelure on my Pokemon Sun and Refresh. And... I completely forgot about setting up a team that time, really, because 
I have been I have been focusing so much of reading every other Pokemon game, Perfect IVs, so it's so that way I'll be able to get all the way to battle one hundred in the battle tree. And here it is, Mars Nature received Halloween, egg hatch, Halloween. Likes to thrush about. <laughs> Look at the color. The regu the regular litwick was I mean the flame was purple. And it was white. This one is ghost white with this flame with a blue flame. True flame. <laughs> True flame, yeah. It was, from, it was from the commercial. Look at it. Like a blue fire. Like Azula. Fire. <gasps> I should have I would have nicknamed it Azula, but it was actually a boy. Azuka would have been <laughs> would have been funny, but I never nicknamed my Pokemon. Only in the hack games and all the other well, only in the hack games and the other computer game Pokemon games I play. Early flash fire. I was planning on switching it to flame body, but I didn't have enough battle points. And now it's time to talk. See, that's where I was, in the truck. You can see my torn up pants. Talk to the judge. Okay, this title could be like episode eight, episode six of me doing a reaction video, and episode eight, episode six of doing a reaction video, and episode eight of Pokemon Refresh. I hope it has perfect IVs. Drum roll. Okay. Okay, I didn't say drum roll. Yes, I clicked on the shiny IV. Um, Litwick. I see. I see. This Pokemon, this Pokemon has, has relatively, relatively superior, superior potential, potential, potential overall. overall. Attack, Attack defense, defense, speed. <sighs> At least I have 31 IVs for those three, just for the defense and speed. I want. I was hoping that his hit points and special attack would rise, so that way I could transfer it and use a ball cap to raise his special defense. Dang it. Yeah, I was disappointed at that time. I was kind of hoping for hit points, defense, special attack, and special defense. Wow, I almost said that. <laughs> it may be somewhat of speed, but this is kind of fine, though. So like I said. Hopefully I can get a perfect IV, maybe a shiny Litwick, or just perfect IV, whatever. Like, hit points, defense, special attack, special defense, and speed. The attack doesn't might not mean anything, or if it's a male, then... <sighs> Then it might, might not mean something. anything. So, um, I just say, I just kind of surprised, like, it's some kind of coincidence that, like, yeah, it was Halloween, a chandelier on a haunted, in a haunt, well, a haunted mansion. Think about that. It was really a surprise. Maybe I can train Gengar and Gore, guys. How about next Halloween? I'll, I will make a full ghost Halloween special team. Gorgeist, Gengar, Trevenant, Chandelure, Bayonet, and Dustnor. Those six. That's Those are the ones I'll use. And it's a good thing I'm recording because that way I will remember and I'll go to Pokemon Stacks Calculator and figure out how to... how to raise the stats properly. Like, 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 um... Litwick, shiny Litwick on Halloween. When I think of like chandelier, I think like chandeliers on a haunted ma in a haunted mansion. <laughs> that's what I said. That's what I said. <laughs> that's, the, well, that's one of the reasons why I'm calling it like a Halloween team. And Gore guys, yes, because it's a pumpkin. Because as a pumpkin for a body, that's also one. That's another reason why I'm making a Halloween team. And, um, uh, I guess that's it. Until then, I will see you all later. Wait, hang on. Until then, I will see you all later. That's really how I say, that's really how I say my farewell every day. Try and talk fast before time's up. That's my kind of outro. Anyways, that concludes episode six of my reaction video, reacting to my old Halloween video. It's not really all that, it's not really all Halloween like you want, like you were hoping for, but, um, at least, at least, it, at least it was a good thing that it hatched on Halloween. At least I can celebrate it. 
though I was planning a singing thriller of Michael Jackson for Halloween, but no, I really don't want to do that. Okay. Alright, now let's resume back to episode 8 of doing the Pokemon Refresh. How are you doing, Chandelure? I see you're down. Don't be. I'm here. I wonder if you really pet. If you really pet Chandelure there. I'm not sure if it'll burn or you'll feel good. But, um. Whatever works, works, I guess. Oh, hang on a second. I need more bright. I need more brightness. Ooh, ooh, I know. Hang on, I get in there. There, much better. Alright, you're right, alright. I know what you need. How's about, how's about a rainbow on uh, Pokey Bean, huh? How can you eat? Your mouth is closed, or you don't even have a mouth. That's exactly what I said to Nahila Go. Like, how do you eat? You don't have a mouth. You don't even have a face. Seriously. I'm here, I'm here. Ain't that cute? <laughs> That's really cute of you, Shadowlord. What if you like being pets here? Oh, this so oh, this so cute. Let's see if I do this. Aww, that makes me feel bad for every for every Pokemon I do that with. Poking them, petting them, petting them in the wrong position. P I mean, petting them in a wrong place. Yeah. Another Pokemon. I see you're enjoying yourself really well, Chandelure. Can you do a high five? I guess not. Maybe one more Pokebee. Maybe something that suits your color. This one! Oh, you're getting full. Don't worry, you feel fine, aren't you? <laughs> oh, ain't that cute? Alright, I suppose that can conclude episode 8 of the Pokemon Sun and Moon Refresh with Shand playing with Chandelure. You know, to be truthful, Chandelure is my favorite Fire-type Pokemon next to Torkoal. I mean, I just love Fire-type Pokemon, all kinds. Like, I want to be a Fire-type trainer. Oops. One one. Alright. Well. I guess I can, I can conclude on episode 8 yet. Yeah. How are you feel, Chicken? Oh, I'm looking down cautiously. Yeah, that concludes episode 8. Maybe I could use you in a super single battle. What do you say? Oh, yeah, okay, okay, I'm There. As I'm, as I'm, as of what I'm doing right now, I'm still going, I'm still going to make episode 9 of Pokemon Battle, Pokemon, um, Sun and Moon Battle Tree Super Double Battle Episode 9, 41 to 45. Hopefully I can make it there. And I'm going to finish um, the Pokemon Silver version walkthroughs, but the only thing that's slowing me down is that uh, I've been trying to catch Heracross because, like, um, Pokemon Yellow Pikachu Edition walkthrough, I've been trying to use the Pokemon that Ash uses. So that's the whole reason why I've been catching the Heracross. 
maybe Toby, maybe I could just, um, maybe I could just forget about her cross, or should I still catch her cross? Like, like, forget about her cross and just use Toby instead, and then Eevee and transfer, transfer Pokemon from Generation One to here to get items. <laughs> no, that would be funny. Also, there is something I want to do that I hope it works when I transfer that Pokemon from, from my yellow version to Crystal. Hopefully I can transfer that Pokemon. You all know what I'm gonna say. You know who I'm gonna talk who I'm talking about, right? Well that concludes episode this up this episode. Hope you all like it. It's like it's like a somewhat reaction video and Pokemon refresh simultaneously. Until then, I will see you all later. Bye!